Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here from Serpent X Tech, and I got a quick one for you today. We're going to be looking at Intel's Block Scale ASICs and the fact that Intel actually released it, uh, well, ahead of schedule. The one thing they did right, because we still haven't got our discrete GPUs that have been delayed for months and months in 2022. But hey, at least Intel's ahead on something. We heard about this Block Scale ASIC from Intel months ago, back in April. Uh, Tom's Hardware had an article on it. Uh, we saw a number of press releases, which I'll have a few of them linked down in the description. And we got presented some data, right? So 580 giga hash uh, per chip, and it could be chained in 256 of them total. Uh, now, the wattage is around 22.7, let's say 23 watts. And if we start looking at the actual comparison, like against what competitors offer, Bitmain and such, this 580 giga hash only equates to 0.58 tera hash, right? So let's look at the map on that. Right now, with one chip uh, at uh, 580 giga hash or 0.58 tera hash, 23 watts, 10 cent per kilowatt hour, 1% fees, depending on the pool, we're making negative profit. We're not making anything, right? We're break We're basically even. But the cost is six cents, and the actual uh, Bitcoin you would mine would get you at five cents in 24 hours. So not exactly enticing, but let's scale that up, right? 256 chips in a chain. Well, that's a 148 terahash at around 5,888 watts. And still, now we're negative 57 cents in profit at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Our cost of electricity is $14.13 at time of filming. And then our actual, uh, you know, Profit, I guess you could say, if we weren't paying electricity, would be $13.56, making about 0 0.000649 Bitcoin a day. I know some GPU miners that make more than that per day. But still, props to Intel. They released it ahead of time. What is the cost? Well, the cost, according to Grid, uh, their new ASIC is about $5,625 per unit. Now, yes, you can arrange them in... Uh, 200 you can chain them together right to uh, 256 of them total so 5625 times 256 there's your overall price and uh yeah that's about half the price of a comparable solution from the likes of bitmain and that's true right so if we go and look at some of the miners available let's say the s19 xp we can get about 140 terahash at 3000 watts and uh yeah so yeah at least you're making a profit on this at least of five dollars or a little bit over five dollars and the unit does cost a little bit more than what intel has to offer but does this product make sense right now hell no especially in current market conditions i hope this is just intel's first step into the asic uh manufacturing process i don't even think they're manufacturing themselves right i don't think it's an in-house thing i think they're using uh you know fabs like tsmc to uh, you know, create the chips and get everything, the bases there, and then they, they bring it back home to their facilities, package it, and all that good stuff, and then ship it out to vendors. But I do believe that the delivery has been completed on a number of them to some of the farms out there, large-scale, mid-scale, whatever it may be. But is it going to be worth their time? Not right now. How is it going to pan out in the future when, when Bitcoin prices you know start to build back up? Maybe it might start to make sense then, but as of right now, no. Either way, I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. So let me know uh, what you think of Intel's block scale ASICs. Um, and that's going to do it for today's video. So do me a favor on the way out. Please hit the like button. Please make sure to get subscribed and hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel like the dojelord.com where you can get a sweet Serpent X hat and much more. You all take care. Have a wonderful day. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.